All right, our first image from Closest Approach has been saved to our file system. You can see we're all staring at the screen waiting for our software to pick up that image and display it. Congratulations on a fantastic flyby. Good job, everybody. The first thing everyone wants to know about the scientific return from a mission is how much it's increased our knowledge. But of course, the scientific work is just beginning now. Uh, the engineers did a fantastic job of getting us data. Now we have to make sense of it to advance the science. But I'm, from looking at the data we have, I am convinced that Comet Hartley will have increased our knowledge of how comets work by at least three Hartleys. But the Hartley is a real unit of information, and three Hartleys is about a factor of 10. <laughs> The reason we wanted to go to Hartley 2 specifically is because it was a very small, very active comet, and was therefore different from the other comets we had studied in detail. So that was the driver for choosing Comet Hartley 2 versus some other comet. What we hoped to do was to use the difference between a small active comet and a large, relatively inactive comet like Temple 1 or Borelli to address the question of what parts of comets are due to the recent processing and what parts tell us about the formation of the solar system four and a half billion years ago. And ultimately, what we want to use this for is to figure out how did we get here. What we're seeing is that uh, we have rough terrain where the jets are. And in fact, in many cases, they seem to be correlated to specific topographic features. Um, and the middle, in our best current interpretation, we think is material, fine-grained material, that has been redistributed across the comet and collected in a topographic low. And so you get fine, smooth material in the middle, in that low. I'm hoping a few kids were watching today, and if you were, please understand this message. What you saw today wasn't virtual, it wasn't a computer simulation, it was real. It was the Earth seeing this comet close up for the first time in history. Uh, that's fun. Science can be fun, just as much fun as a computer game, but probably a lot more important to our society. Thank you.